using Disc Genius again for this. So it's going to warp this disc. You can either right click on it and go to erase sectors or go to tools and go down to erase sectors. You can erase free space, which is a useful tool. If you reinstall Windows, you can er erase the space, the free space. But for this one, we're going to erase the entire disc. You can select a sector range and what to fill it with. I'm just going to put random data. You can specify yourself, put it there. Let's put random data, Kingston. And when finished, I'm going to let it shut down. No, I want to put it on standby because I've got OBS running. Prevent the system from sleeping during execution. And that's it. So make sure you've got the right one. It's all in red there, warning. Make sure you're doing the right one, which I am, Kingston. It's going to take a while. But it does do a good job. I've done loads of testing on this and used data recovery on it afterwards, and it does not leave anything. So there you go, it's done, 100%, there's no time on it, so I can't tell you how long it took, because I didn't watch it finish, I'll just check now and it's done, so it didn't take too long, and it's definitely secure, because I've tested it a few times with data recovery after doing this, and found nothing, so it's a good tool.